Today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick balloon bee. Hello balloon artists, this is another design you've asked for. So you loved the quick ladybird design and I'm so pleased you got a lot from that. As a result of that, you've been asking for an even quicker bee design. So I'm going to show you what I make when I'm in that really busy situation where you've got a queue of people but you still want to produce a really cute design that someone's going to love. Take a yellow round and inflate this quite a bit. In fact, over inflate. Okay, and then just let out the air until it's about oh, four inches or so. Then tie and tie high on the neck. Okay, so then give your balloon a squeeze. Okay, so that's the shape that we've got. Next, take a white 160 and inflate with a couple of puffs of air. Tie that off. And then you want to make two loops of, oh, perhaps about three to four inches or so. Pass that to nozzle through. Okay, and then make another loop to match that first one. Okay. Okay. And then just tie these together. Take your yellow balloon and twist off a largish bubble for the head and then take your wings and just wrap them around that twist okay so this is what you've got next take a black 160 and we only want about three quarters of this so just trim off the end and if you're enjoying this tutorial be sure to check out the link in the description below to my friendly bug series i've got a detailed bee design a really cute ladybird design. There's a caterpillar, a butterfly, a snail, a dragonfly, all insect-based designs, which are perfect for spring and summer. And then we just want to put a little bit of air in there. So this is going to be our antennae, so I only want a couple of inches of air or so in there. Okay, and just trim off the end and twist off a bubble, take hold of the end, snap that out, okay, and then just loop the balloon in your hand and squeeze these bubbles down here and just create the antennae, okay? Give that a twist, grab hold of your bee and just wrap these around that neck a couple of times. And for those really busy events, I recommend the bullet tip sharpie. It's just so much quicker to draw the faces. Having that uh, bigger nib makes a big difference to the speed at which you can draw the faces. Okay, so we just want a, a nice mouth, a nice cheeky smile, a little nose and some eyelashes or eyebrows, depending on your preference. Okay. And if you've got time, I tend to put a couple of little stripes here. It doesn't take too long to do, but it just gives that, adds to the impression of the bee. And if you have got that little bit of extra time, just put a couple of little white dots, eye highlights using your white paint pen. If you like this design, be sure to check out my friendly bug series. I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll see you again in the next video.